Hey everyone, it's me, Cassidy, again. So, I went to the Whistler Torch Relay Ceremony. Right now, I'm headed to the Whistler Olympic Torch Relay Celebration, and the torch will finally arrive in Whistler back at home today on the 12th, and we'll end up in Vancouver for the Olympic opening ceremonies, of course. It has so far, starting October, traveled through every single one of the Canadian provinces, which is really cool. As you can see, I am fully decked out in all of my Canadian gear. I got my flags, I got my hat, I have a shirt, you can't see, but everybody that I've seen walking through the village right now is completely Canadian. Everybody's so excited to represent their country, and I'm excited to represent their country as well. So, go Canada! And it was really exciting. There was so much Canadian spirit out there. First of all, I have never seen that many people in Whistler Village in my entire life. I couldn't even count how many people there were. I don't even want to try. It was like a giant mosh pit in the middle of Whistler Village, but no one was actually trying to mosh. People were just trying to get closer to the stage, trying to get to a bar, trying to get all over the place. There was a huge stage set up right at the base of the mountain, which is funny because if you go there now, it would look like nothing had ever happened there. And there were performances on the stage, there were all kinds of things going on. There were a bunch of speakers, there were girls spinning around on these rings who were super flexible, there were drummers, and I actually met a couple of the drummers later that night, which was really cool. And then, at about 7 o'clock, the moment everyone was waiting for arrived. The Olympic torch for the Vancouver 2010 Winter Olympics arrived in Whistler, and it was so exciting. You could look up on the mountain, and all of a sudden you see the snowmobile with a flame, and they passed it off to a skier, and he skied down the base of Whistler Mountain with the torch in his hand. If I had done it, I probably would have lit myself or someone else on fire on accident, but he was really good at it, very safe. I actually got kind of emotional. There was so much Canadian pride around, and as you can see by my Canada shirt, I really wish I was Canadian. So I had this Canada shirt on, I was wearing all red and black, I had a Canada hat, I had Canadian flags, I was all decked out. I actually looked like a huge tourist because I was walking around with a backpack on with Canadian flags sticking out of the backpack. So whenever I walked, they'd wave. And um, the Royal Bank of Canada was also giving away tambourines, so I had one of those in my backpack. So not only were there flags waving around behind me, I was jingling as I walked. I thought it was pretty entertaining, so I kept it up, but everyone kept saying, you're obviously not Canadian because you look like a tourist. Whatever. It was really amazing to see all of that Canadian spirit and just the Olympic spirit in the middle of Whistler. Up until that point, there wasn't really a huge sign that there was a lot of spirit and a lot of excitement in Whistler for the Olympics to come, but when the torch came down the mountain, everyone was singing, oh, Canada, and it was just really exciting because everybody was there specifically for the torch, to see the torch arrive in Whistler. I'm just getting really, really excited for the Olympics to start, and after the torch arrived in Whistler, it's pretty clear that a lot of people all over Whistler, all over Canada, all over the world, are excited for the Olympics to start too.